Hi, my name is Jamie Coleman and I am your virtual expedition naturalist and bird nerd. I am live in the United Kingdom, it's very sunny here today, as always, and I'm going to be talking to you about a place very close to my heart and that is arguably one of the most incredible places on the planet and that is South Georgia Island. Back in 2015, I was given the dream job of working for the British Antarctic Survey on South Georgia. As you can probably imagine, this involved a large amount of training before deploying, and you would imagine this would leave you fairly well prepared. But I remember that first day when you see South Georgia Island, and you step outside and you think to yourself, Oh my God, it's bloody freezing. But then you sail a little bit closer. And you see the ground is moving. And it's moving because there are millions of penguins everywhere you look. And almost as abundant are the amount of seals you see everywhere. And then you look beyond the wildlife and you see the landscape. You have mountains punching. 10,000 feet into the sky, you have miles of glaciers flowing all the way from the peaks down to the ocean, and you've forgotten about the temperature. People often ask me, why would I choose to spend two years of my life living in isolation, away from my friends and my family, especially when people find out that a large proportion of my time on South Georgia was spent picking up seal poo and looking at it under a microscope. But then you wake up before sunrise and you go ashore at Gold Harbour or you go ashore at St Andrews Bay and you see those spectacular mountains turn the same colour as that auricular patch of the king penguins. Then you'll understand. When you're surrounded by 500,000 king penguins and that scenery, you could almost be forgiven for not looking down at your feet. But then you feel this tugging and you do look down and you see these two huge eyes looking up at you and it's an elephant seal pup and you fall in love for the hundredth time that morning. South Georgia has the ability to make you feel all of those positive feelings you didn't realise you were capable of feeling in just a couple of hours. So why was I sipping poo, I hear you ask? That's a very good question. Well, in my role as high predator biologist, I was working with Antarctic fur seals and gentoo penguins. Now both of these, given the opportunity throughout the summer months, are going to feed almost exclusively on Antarctic krill. Therefore, by looking at their diet, looking at their productivity and also their growth rates, I can get an understanding of what the Antarctic krill is doing around South Georgia. Now Antarctic krill, although very small, is a keystone species for the Antarctic ecosystem. Now in my role as a naturalist, unfortunately it's frowned upon to bring seal poo back on board. But the trip down to South Georgia is worthwhile, if only to see my favourite species, the wandering albatross. Nothing can prepare you for seeing a bird with a wingspan of 3.5 metres, or 11.5 foot. They are mind-blowing both in size and in beauty, and you can't help but appreciate them when you see them use every single millimetre of that wingspan in order to turn the winds into speed. What makes South Georgia so special to me is it shows what nature can do if given the chance. It is the closest thing to pristine that you will see anywhere on this planet, but it wasn't always like this. It has a gruesome history of overexploitation, which saw whale populations and seal populations hunted almost to extinction. Along with this, early settlers brought with them rat populations which devastated seabirds. But thanks to changes in legislation, as well as the world's largest rat eradication project, wildlife populations on South Georgia have bounced back. And now what you see when you visit the islands is wildlife like nowhere else on the planet. And this gives me hope. Thank you very much. Bon appétit.